Okay, so 25 years ago today, one of the biggest trades in hockey history was made next to the Gretzky trade in the 1980s, and that was the Patrick Waugh trade to Colorado. Now, before I go any further, there's a lot of historical context behind this trade and, and what ultimately led up to this. When you consider the fact that in the 1970s, throughout the 1980s and early 90s, and I guess in the 70s, the Quebec Nordique and the Montreal Canadiens had one of the greatest, fiercest rivalries in hockey history. And it was a favorite amongst, you know, the older generation, including myself. It was great hockey. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of intensity amongst the fans. It had everything. And, you know, but sadly, due to faulty ownership in Quebec, there was talks of the team relocating, and much to Quebec's misfortune, they were bought by the Colorado Avalanche in 1995. Well, bought by Colorado and named Colorado Avalanche in 1995 and moved over to the Western Conference. And this was after the 1994-1995 NHL lockout, which really was very damaging to the game itself overall. Because you have to keep in mind, hockey was on its way up, up until that lockout. I mean, they had high ratings high viewership, you know, high ticket sales. But then the 1994 lockout happened and it really damaged the game in the long run. Now, fast forward to what leading up the trade. Obviously, there was personal issues with Patrick Waugh. Patrick was unhappy with the fact that Jacques Demare, the coach, was let go due to the fact that the team had failed to make the playoffs in 95. Due to the, but a lot of people blamed the lockout and the shortened season for that reason, so... He's only played half a season, which I thought was ridiculous. And I don't really remember. I don't really recall watching that. So, But then came the 1995-1996 season between... Uh, obviously, tensions were high. Mario Tremblay and Patrick Waugh were not getting along at all. And there was a lot of tension within the, the organization as a whole. And then leading up to... The fateful game in 1995 between the Detroit Red Wings and Colorado, I mean, and Montreal, pardon me, which ultimately what led to the trade. And obviously, there's a lot of historical context behind that game. The list goes on and on. There's a lot of people that, that a lot of things people seem to met, you know, you know, fail to recognize. For one, that was the Detroit Red Wings' final game in in uh, the Montreal form. And when you consider who was coaching, oh yeah, Scotty Bowman was coaching that team back then. And Scotty Bowman also used to coach the Montreal Canadiens to five straight Stanley Cups back in the 1970s. And I have many, Scotty was considered the greatest coach in hockey history. And then you have to consider the fact that Patrick Waugh and Mike Vernon met, we know, were the last two representatives of two Canadian teams to meet in the Stanley Cup Final in 1989, that between Montreal and Calgary, which I'll probably do another video on that later, but that's another story for another time. And then there's other, you know, historical significance behind this game, because, you know, when you consider what happened later on, which I'll get to later, now, as many of you know, the game was a total embarrassment. Patrick Waugh was left in for nine goals. You know, he, he was looking at the bench asking, hey, get me out of here, pull me, because clearly he wasn't having a very good game. And ultimately, Detroit ended up winning that game big. And uh, after Patrick Waugh was pulled after the ninth goal, you know, Waugh walked up to the general manager and he looked in, you know, and said that he has played my last game in Montreal. And sadly, we all know what happened to that result. Because December 2nd, today, at the time I'm making this video, Patrick Waugh was traded to the Colorado Avalanche with uh, Mike Keane for... I think it was for a couple of players and goaltending prospect Jocelyn Thibault. Now, Justin Tebow was actually a decent goaltender. 
I think he would have been good, but ultimately he just kind of fell off after a while. Started, he was starting when he had a good, he had a hot streak in the late '90s and early 2000s, but then ultimately he just kind of, ultimately just uh, started to decline, and he wasn't really in the league much longer. Now, there's a lot of historical significance behind this trade as well because. I think little did the Red Wings organization know that this would, you know, create one of the greatest rivalries in hockey history from the late 90s and early 2000s, that being Detroit and Colorado, which we'll get to later. As a Red Wings fan myself, little did I know that, you know, the, how damaging this would be and, you know, what this would create. Now, on a personal level, I remember watching this game with my dad, and then I remember him just, you know, he was a Montreal Canadian fan, by the way, and he was just greatly upset. I was kind of cheering a little bit, but he was relatively choked. He was disappointed, because I think he knew what was really going on. I think he knew that this organization was falling apart, and falling apart fast. And I think he knew that once Patrick Wall was gone, there was really no way, you know, that this was, this would send the organization into a very dark period where they only made it to the second round, you know, two times after, you know, in a five year spirit, five year span after the trade was made. So, I mean, if anyone else knows of anything, you know, because like I said, the historical significance behind this game, you know, the meaning behind this game, if you watch this game, you'll see what I mean. There's so many different stories. There's so much history behind it. You know, the game itself, but also the trade as well. Now, keep in mind, I should have touched on this. Patrick Waugh won a Stanley Cup in 1986 in his rookie year and was awarded, you know, the Conn Smythe League MVP. And then they won, they made it to the finals in 1989. Then they won the Stanley Cup in 1993. And that was the last Canadian team to ever win the Stanley Cup which was 27 years going on 28 next season, whenever hockey starts again, so keep that in mind. You also have to consider the fact that in 1996, unfortunately, the Red Wings ended up meeting Colorado and uh, ultimately lost that series, and uh, Colorado went on to win a, you know, a sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals in 1996. Now, keep in mind... Patrick Wall still would have great seasons afterwards, winning the Stanley Cup one more time in 2001, and winning the league MVP, and that would be his last Stanley Cup run. So, but in between, like I said, it was it birthed the Detroit and Colorado rivalry. It birthed the you know the biggest and best brawls of all time. Everyone remembers the 1997-1998 brawls between Detroit and Colorado, which were absolutely amazing. It made for great hockey, no doubt. And um, I was 11 years old when this happened. And, you know, I was, you know, little, no, no, little did we know when I look back at it all that, you know, history was definitely being made here. Um, but I want to know, what are your thoughts on this trade? Is there anything I'm missing? Is there any other historical stuff that I'm not aware of? Or please comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me where you were when this happened. And please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, take care.